I will uh, discuss uh, these uh, five, uh, discuss uh, these 30 planes of existence uh, in terms of the five destinations of rebirth. Uh, in the Majjhima Nikaya, Sutta number 12, the Buddha gave uh, similes uh, for the uh, five destinations of rebirth. Uh, the Buddha gave this simile uh, that a man uh, on a very hot day uh, was walking a long distance uh, and he was tired and thirsty and hungry uh, on that hot day. And then he walked and walked and then he fell into a deep hole uh, and the hole was deeper than a man's height so that he could not climb out. Uh. And this first uh, simile was uh, this deep hole uh, was full of glowing charcoal, uh, glowing charcoal. So as he fell into this uh, deep hole, uh, he was burned by this charcoal, uh, and he was suffering, uh, and he couldn't come out. Uh. This is a simile for hell. Uh, when you are in hell, uh, you are in pain and suffering every moment, uh, just like this man uh, in that. Uh, pit of glowing charcoal, uh, coals, uh, uh, and you're suffering. Then the second simile the Buddha gave uh, is of the animal realm. And the animal realm is like a man uh, also on a hot day. Uh, he's walking a long distance and he's tired and thirsty and hungry and he fell into another hole deeper than a man's height. And this hole was full of shit, uh, excrement. Uh, and he was in that shit hole, uh, swall swallowing the shit uh, and trying to climb out and couldn't climb out. That's a simile for the animal realm. Uh, so it's also a lot of suffering, but at least not so painful as the hell realm. Slightly better. Then the simile for the ghost realm, the Buddha said, uh, he said another man uh, also on a hot day, very tired, thirsty and hungry, looking for a place to rest. And then he came across a tree yeah, with little leaves, like, not much leaves, yeah. and he took a rest under the tree. But because the tree didn't have much uh, leaves to shelter him, he was still feeling very hot uh, and bothered by the heat, yeah, and still thirsty and hungry and tired under the tree. But that is the simile for the ghost realm. So you see, at least the ghost realm is much better then the animal in the hell realm. Then the simile for the human realm is the Buddha said another man, also in the same situation, uh, tired and thirsty and hungry on a hot day, came across a beautiful tree uh, with a lot of leaves and very shady. So he rested under the tree and he was not, he was shaded from the hot sun. So he was enjoying himself under the tree. That's a simile for the human realm. So actually, we are having a very good life. We compare ourselves uh, with the ghost, the animal and the hell beings. Uh. So we should not complain about life when we compare ourselves with other beings. Uh. Mm. And then the fifth one, the simile for the heavens, uh, is the Buddha said another man also tired, thirsty and hungry on a hot day came across a beautiful bungalow mansion uh, and uh, he walked inside the mansion and he found this big house inside so well furnished uh, with a comfortable bed and all that uh, and he went to sleep on the bed uh, uh, so he was enjoying himself in that house uh, that uh, shaded from the sun and everything. Uh, so that is the simile for the heavens. So uh, these similes uh, will make us understand uh, uh, how the beings in the woeful planes uh, suffer and uh, the human and the heavenly planes uh, are quite comfortable. That is why the three woeful planes of existence uh, hell, animal and ghost realm are called the Dukati. Just now I talked about five Gati, uh, five destinations. Uh. Dugati is a woeful destination. Uh. And then the human realm and the uh, heavenly realm uh, are called Sugati, uh, happy destinations of rebirth. Uh.